Good morning on this day after July 4th, which makes this July 5th, even though I'm recording this on uh, July 4th, essentially. Well, last week I uh, told a very long story. I apologize for being so long. So if anyone watched it, thank you so much for even caring enough to watch it. And I hope it helped somebody, uh, you know, uh, just with whatever was talked about. I have another thing that I, oh, actually, I think this is what I'm going to do for now on because I'm kind of just, you know, for the gaming aspect of stuff, I just enjoy playing more casual not like now and creating the YouTube videos and stuff uh, of those. I just don't have that passion for it and maybe I'll come back again, but who knows? Maybe I'll just have one tomorrow because I, it's back tomorrow night, but that's why my YouTube videos have not been anywhere near uh, not that they are very often anyways, but I really haven't made them lately, but I had a lot of fun talking and this is what I do a lot. I talk to a camera because I feel like it's someone I can just be completely honest with and open up about everything. So two different types of friends, okay, that, uh, I am experiencing as of late. And if by chance they see this, yo, know, they're, they're not going to, but if by chance they see this, listen, okay. So. By, by what I'm talking about is, I am 30 years old, okay? In before all you fucking goddamn little kids go, Hey, he's so old! 30, you're not fucking old, trust me. Because there's a lot of people that wish they could be 30, and then when you turn 30, which was going to be in like a couple years, 10 years, for some of you, you realize it's not fucking old. But anyways, that is here nor say. If you think I'm old, hey, I'm okay with that. Because, and I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, but let's not go off topic. The two friends... The two different type of friends, okay? And this has nothing to do with uh, the fact that one of them is a male and one of them is a female. It could be completely vice versa. But in this situation, so one friend is a male, one friend is a female. And again, it, it could be vice versa. This is not me stereoty being stereotypical of uh, their sex. Um, but anyway, so you guys know Keith. So I get, I'm going to say Heath's name. You guys, well, you maybe not know Heath. Heath comes into the channel uh, sometimes, Baltic Angel. He was uh, one of my best friends growing up, and uh, we have known each other since the seventh grade. Okay, a long damn time. We don't get to see each other too often anymore. But, uh, he, I mean, he has a, a full life. I mean, he has a wife, he has two kids, just got a new job. He's doing great for himself. But we got to talk, we got to reminisce, and... It was a lot of fun. We talked for about two and a half hours, and honestly, we probably could have talked for a lot longer than that. Uh, we sat outside and just talked about... Uh, not, and the, the, the good thing about our talk was we just didn't talk about, you know, the good times, which we definitely had. We talked about our life, our life right now, uh, stuff we didn't know about each other, and stuff that we were, even though we haven't seen each other in over a year, maybe even a year and a half, and our only interactions have been through text or through uh, Twitch chat. We we actually went deep. We went deep and we talked about stuff that honestly I just can't believe we talked about. One, it, it felt like again I was just talking to the, the guy I knew from school. The guy I would hang out with every single day, play video games with every single night. And it just felt like that. There was no awkwardness at all. And it was just so nice to talk to him again and be in person. There, there's something different, man, about this internet age that kids are growing up in right now. I, I, I almost feel sorry for you because if you are growing up with and I know right now, if you're watching this, you're an internet friend of mine, and thank you so much. But you need to have relationships that are in person, not just through, you know, phone, not just through texting, not just through that stuff, meeting up with people like Maddie, handwritten letters, that, that's more intimacy to it. You, you need that feeling. And it was just such a humbling experience to, one, talk about the great things, talk about the things that we're wondering what is going great in our lives and also talking about the things that we wish could be better or we want to improve upon. So there were some, I'm not going to, I'm not going to divulge what obviously we talked about, but it was advice from both sides given to the other about what their situation is. Um, talking about the understandings of maybe different point of views 
to understand if in that situation it was, you know, right or wrong for us to feel a certain way or do something in a certain way. And I, I just want to explain to you that if I hope you have friends like that, I hope you do. And you're able to communicate with them freely and openly because it will be amazing. And that's what this is for me. And I highly recommend if you're someone that is having trouble with, um, you know, talking about uh, certain things that may be occurring in your life, even though you may not be comfortable telling a person, even though it will obviously help you in the long run, put your phone on like I do. Put, make sure that when you record it, you flip it so that way you can see yourself. Like I see myself talking right now and say everything. Saying it is the first thing to go ahead and, you know, help it just get released into the world. It's all, it's in here. It's in here. And even though you're not saying it to somebody and no one hears it, just because a tree falls in the forest, everyone says it, do it doesn't make it sound. A fucking course it makes a sound. So just by saying it to the world, saying it out loud, it, 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 it helps. So thank you so much in case Heath watches this. That was fucking, it was just awesome. It was great. It was fantastic. Um, and the reason why I want to bring up two friends is because right now, I mean, we just got out of coat. Well, we're on the tail side of the pandemic. And people are, you know, going back to living what we refer to before the pandemic as normal lives, right? And we're going back to visiting people. We're going back to hanging out with people. We're going back to that kind of thing. I am a homebody. I've never really been that big of a social butterfly that I would prefer to come home and sit in front of the TV than go out. I would never be caught at a club. I'm not going to a club. Only reason I would ever go to a bar or something like that is because it was a group thing or a date thing or something of that nature. I would never go by myself or stag or something like that. Um, I, I'm, I'm a homebody. I'm 100% a homebody. And that's why when it comes down to, you know, friendships, I, I definitely don't. When you, when you reach my age, my old ass age of 30, you really do, you can count the number of good friends on one, two hands. Obviously, for you people that are still in school and everything like that, I mean, you have dozens of friends of people you probably know, but those are school friends. You have work friends, of course, but I'm talking about friends that you have. Uh, if, if you stopped working with that individual, and that's the only reason why you see each other, interact with each other, and then you stop working, you're, you're realizing you're not going to call that person, you're not going to text that person, you're work friends. So, on one or two hands, right? So, uh, so that would he my lifelong friend and we will be lifelong friends forever and I'm not saying that we I won't be with this way with the with the, the my other friend but it just goes to show you the differences between I, I guess referring back to at the beginning of my sting this internet age we're going up in okay so I haven't seen Heath in a year and a half I go hang out with Heath fucking awesome time loved it then I go hang out with uh, one of my other friends and I haven't seen uh, her in, um, I don't know, it's actually been a long time, uh, two and a half, three years, long time, two and a half, three years, um, um, she, I, she didn't, ju and that's the thing, I can't even tell you what the difference is, and again, I'm not being stereotypical to their sex, again, it, it could be vice versa, male to female, uh, it's just this case, he, a guy, her, a female, uh, that she, we're the same age, but, you know, just because we're the same age that I, I like to think I'm more mature than I, I than I have, or have been in my life. And I'm not saying she was not mature, but it really does go to show you that she has dived into and this internet age has taken her. And from my perspective of things, it's just so disappointing and so, you know, disengaging because uh, I went to go visit her and, uh, well, not visit her, we met up at a place and I I'm thinking, okay, we haven't talked in a while, so we can talk about the good times, the fun times. And then hopefully, like uh, he turned out to be, you know, we can talk about other stuff. Me and Heath are uh, a lot closer friends than me and this uh, girl are. So we're not going to obviously get too in depth like me and Heath did. But it'd be nice to know like, hey, how, what's going on in your life? And then her asking what's going on in my life. 
So the first, like, let's say five minutes or so, it was very nice seeing her again. I'm very uh, uh, happy to have gone to, you know, just even have that quick engagement of uh, that interaction at the beginning. But then quickly, it it turns into she being on her phone literally the entire time. And I tell my little brother this because I, my little brother is not falling into this. But I see him all the time on his fucking phone. His, his eyes are never off his phone. And I, I just want to smash that motherfucking thing, dude, when I see him. Because he's always on his phone. And then, because I, I tell him, Taylor, could you survive a day without your phone? Can you? And then uh, I'm seeing, you know, her on her phone. And, you know, I have nothing wrong with that in terms of, you know, her being on her phone. But I would like to think for, we haven't seen each other two and a half, three years. And this isn't romantic or anything at all. She is married. So it's not like I'm trying to romantically, you know, woo her or anything like that. But she's just a friend of mine that I would definitely like to know, how is her life? What's going on? I guess I'm that different type of person to where she's taking photos of her food, posting it on Instagram. Who the fuck gives a shit? She's uh, on YouTube watching a video while we're eating and now i'm at a point where i when i was when you're a kid and you're growing up okay you always think of the things you want to say and be blunt and do this do that you know go ahead and just say exactly what you feel now you're going to say that in a respectful way and never ever try to go ahead and hurt someone's feelings on purpose or, you know, uh, understanding the fact that uh, if you feel like they're, they're hurting you, that you need to purposely hurt them back, time heals everything. And that's why in this moment, we're sitting there and I, I, I kind of caught her off guard. It's been like 30, 45 minutes. Uh, fuck, it felt like two hours, if I'm being honest with you. And I just go, I, I think we have reached that point of us being, you know, back that I think we can call it a night. And we're not even done with our meal. And she she just gets flabbergasted by that. And she goes, what? we haven't seen each other in two and a half years. I go, you're, you're watching a YouTube video. You're watching a YouTube video. Instead of talking to the person right in front of you that we made plans to see each other. And it's just astonishing to me. It, it's actually ridiculous. Like, you could be on a, um, fuck, I, I, I don't know where I was going with that. But, um, you know, put in the perspective of, of to you and a friend meeting up with each other. You wanting to go ahead and have a hangout, do whatever. Now, if you see each other every single day, of course, you, you won't have things to talk about. Uh, every single moment. So there's going to be moments of silence, but it's not moments of awkwardness because you're with that person every single day. Like me and he talking, there was never a moment of silence. Why? Because we never, we had something to talk about because it's been so long. Now, if like me and Taylor get together and talk, of course, there's going to be moments of silence. There'll never be moments of awkwardness because we see each other all the time. There's, I'm never going to be awkward around him. He would never be awkward around me. But this was the point where, you know, we haven't seen each other three years. The silence is awkward because I'm thinking of something to say to spark a conversation. And I think she would think that too. But instead, she's, she's never, we never had an opportunity to have a conversation because she's on her phone. And so I guess life lesson from someone that is in my perspective of shoes. And just because uh, it's my way of thinking doesn't mean it's the right way of thinking. Uh, maybe she thinks I'm weird because I wanted to talk. And right now she's making a video saying this fucking stupid guy actually talks to people now. What the fuck? We, we're not texting each other across the table. And um, so two, two definitely different type of experiences and two different types of things because I it's just so frustrating when you're, you're trying to talk to somebody. And even like if you're on a, um, uh, a phone call or, you know, well, I guess a phone call wouldn't work because you're really not going to listen to a video while you're on the phone call. So that's probably a bad example. But you know what I'm talking about. You're trying to talk to somebody and essentially they're 
mind is elsewhere. And I'm fine with your mind being elsewhere if, you know, I'm boring or something like that. But give me the courtesy of when I'm talking to at least faint interest or try to pretend you're interested in that conversation instead of me hearing a YouTube video, instead of me seeing you or reacting to something on, obviously that's on your phone, going, oh, like, we're talking, what the fuck? But uh, yeah, so dear driver friends, I honestly like doing this, so I'm probably gonna do this more often and just talk about stuff, uh, dumb stuff like this. I wanna, uh, the main, uh, uh, main one I wanna do is I wanna help people that will help people. Well, I want, I, of course, I want to help people. But in terms of a lot of you younglings out there that are just turning 17, 18, 19, 20, or you're 20, 21, 22, and you don't know how to build your credit, I'm going to fucking teach you how to fucking start doing that shit. And it's going to help you tremendously. So yeah, two different type of friends. Uh, and again, no ill will towards her whatsoever. If you want to know the end of that, uh, that whole conversation right when I go ahead and said I think we've reached our point where it's time that it, it was already over she she did apologize because I uh, again I just said you're on your phone and we haven't seen each other for th two ne three years I think I said I haven't seen each other for three years and uh you're on your phone watching a YouTube video so it, it just shows that unfortunately we have nothing to talk about or that uh we have no interest to talk to each other. I mean, I had an interest to talk to you, but now that interest is unfortunately faded. And uh, we quickly said our goodbyes, like maybe after 20 more minutes when we paid the bill. And um, we haven't texted since. And I highly doubt that we, we didn't text really that much to begin with. I mean, once every like month, two months. Um, but I, I don't think we will be texting each other again. So two different type of friends. In my eyes, don't be that type of friend that puts their face in their phone. Make sure you're trying to communicate. Make sure that you're trying to, um, I guess, communicate. Just communicate. Communicate. Fuck. It was ridiculous, man. She's on her phone, bro. And I'm like, come on, man. But I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm boring, okay? I know I'm boring. So maybe she was just bored. It happens. It sucks. Had a great 4th of July, though. Had an awesome 4th of July. Went out with the family. Went to uh, the parents' house. Uh, they just redid the backyard. So uh, we had basketball, ping pong. Got a pool. Uh, and had hamburgers, hot dogs. A uh, lot, lot of fun. Maybe miss my, uh, my two dogs, AJ and Snoopy, though. I can talk about AJ and Snoopy in the video. Damn, I love them, man. I miss them every single day. And the pool just is not the same without AJ. Snoopy was never a big fan of the water, but AJ, my God. She was like a seal in that water. And I guess that's why I really don't go swimming that much anymore. Because it was fun when I was younger with my dogs. And especially AJ. Because she would always be in the pool. And now, you know, AJ passed away to, uh, of cancer in 2013. And it's just not the same. But we'll dive into that another one because this is almost already 20 minutes. Have a great rest of your day. Hope you all have a good rest of your day. And guess what? Have a good rest of your day. Powerline, baby. Powerline. If you don't know who this is from, I feel sorry for you. See ya.